Hi, this is John Yarnell. He's one of our orthotechs, and he's going to be helping to explain some of the differences for us today between our classic plaster uh, and our new fiberglass splinting material that we've got in the department. So now we're going to use the Dynacast uh, Prelude. Now this is a fiberglass material. Um, it does have clips on each end. One thing about fiberglass uh, versus plaster is fiberglass will dry to the air, so we can technically open a bag of fiberglass, leave it out, and it will harden. So the problem is, you leave the clamps off, this will harden. You undo your clamps. Now what I like to do is I just use myself as a rough guide, and then I cut my material. Once again, always remembering to replace your clips. Back roll it slightly, tuck it, push it in, and then you clip your edges. This just slides right out of the package, and it has felt already wrapped around the fiberglass. The nice thing about the Prelude is that it is a woven 10 layer, I think you're up to maybe 10 or 12 layers now, um, fiberglass product. Some people like to leave this closed, cut their edges, and then wet it. There's nothing wrong with that. I just prefer to remove the, the product, take it out, and cut the patterns prior to putting it back into this, the um, felt. Always around your edges. So for your metacarpals, you have to go at an angle because the fifth metacarpal lies lower in the hand. So we start low, we come up kind of like a half moon around our edges. We cut out for the thenar and around the thumb. You guys can see that or not. Once we're done, we use the hands. It's just to make sure, palm up, to make sure we're not too long, and we're good. This has to be wet. Well, it doesn't really, but it speeds up the drying process, so you don't have to sit there and hold that cast for 20 minutes. Now you place it back into the into the felt. Now sometimes the felt will shorten when you remove the product from it, so that you can give it a pull. This stuff stretches. Once you get it to size, roll it over. Now you can actually take your fingertips and feel the edge of the fiberglass and just to double check, cut out your patterns again. Remove the thumb hole. It's up to you if you want to do the distal end, or proximal end, excuse me. Same thing applies for the prelude as it does for regular um, plaster. Palm down or palm up. Let's just zoom once again. Now you always leave a little extra so you don't get those sharp edges digging in because fiberglass can be a pretty abrasive rough edge. Same thing applies whether, no matter whether you're using plaster or fiberglass, all the patterns are the same, it's just the product you're using. So once again we put this on quite snug to form the mold. You're always working both hands as you go. Once again, make your molds. This is where you would position as it hardens. And that is a prelude fiberglass splint. Once the splints are hardened, removal is quite easy. I'm going to show you the difference between the fiberglass and the plaster. A, the ease of use that this is, and the drying time. So I've just put this on. It's only been on for a couple of minutes. So we're going to take this off. This was put on last, ahead of the plaster. Take that off for a minute. Now we're going to remove the plaster and show you the difference. So, plaster, I can flex it right off the bat. Now, it's still pretty strong, but it is flexible within the first hour to two hours. This was just put on. 
it's still spongy, but it will turn to rock when this is hardened. And you can move all your edges around, there's no edges showing. And the biggest thing I tell you about this Prelude is that if you don't edge it properly, you will have fiberglass splinters sticking out, so it's very important that you get these edges well covered and well proximated. So, like you're going to see this is going to flex a bit, but I can always bend it back and it'll still harden in 20 minutes, tough as nails. So if you have a position that you're not happy with, you can take the splint off, you can actually flex it a bit, let it harden, 20 minutes down the road, you're done. If you did this with plaster, as soon as you put a plaster, uh, an edge in a plaster, it's fatigued. So it will be soft for the rest of the uh, duration of the splint. I think of anything else? No, I think that's perfect. Thanks, John.